Georgia, how are you? I'm um, well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm very good. Um, of course, you're here for... We'll talk about your second album. Uh-huh. I don't know if you took a break, but it's been five years since the first album. Can we just have a, have a chat about it? Like, how do you look at it five years later? It seems like forever ago. Yeah. And especially because like the songs on there had like started from like... Older than that, 16 yeah. 16 to 18. There okay. was like a few songs on there when I was like 20, 21. And I put my album out when I was 21. Okay. And then, yeah, wow. Toured. Did so many shows, 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 shows. Loads of things happened in between. And then obviously I did, I put out a project in 2020. Yep. A little EP. small. Yeah, but yeah. that one was kind of, I really loved all those songs. It was an EP. And I felt like I needed to, I wanted to put something out. And I wanted to like give my fans, people that listen to my music, something. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad I did that because then I got to add them to some of the shows that we did. Okay. And then um, now I'm yeah. here. It was just one day, I remember, I think I was in LA or something and I said to my manager, I was like, oh my God, can this be an album? And it was just mm. all my favorite songs that I'd okay. been like playing because I've been doing shows before I'd done an album because yeah. like I'd supported, I supported Nao, yeah, supported yeah. Maverick Saber. And so, did I drop my album when I supported Bruno Mars? I can't remember. Maybe. Yeah, I, think. I don't remember. I can't remember. Maybe, yeah. It's forever ago. No, it's 2017. Who knows? Anyway, I know, but I just can't remember. <laughs> um, so then... I was gonna say yeah so that album was like a collection of songs yeah and you, don't, for this, you don't think about it like oh it's an album it was just some yeah song it was that you just so, my favorite yeah. songs and I'm young my favorite songs I was like okay this sounds like I'm put these together and then this time around was the first time where I kind of really started thinking about making an album in like two 2021 okay and then with my friends as well damn damn yeah like I wanted to talk about it, yeah. yeah we can get into that yeah, yeah. um and then so yeah this is the first time I've started from scratch with the album there was like we me and my friends will listen to like some of my tunes and there was like three of them that we were like oh these should definitely be on the project okay. and it's mad because like two of those songs were by ptj okay so then we brought ptj in and made some tunes with him together as well um so yeah the first time i've made an album from scratch and i learned so much from this process like that i'll take into when i make a third album yeah, so okay. yeah this one it was the first time that you really think about doing an album yeah. like with a but it was kind of the thought of an album was still at the back of my mind because I just like making songs it wasn't like there was a theme okay. or like we're gonna try making songs that sound like this or it was just still making music mm. but in the back of my head knowing we're making an album there might be a deadline at some point okay. like I need to uh, and it's funny because you mentioned uh, Dem Dem that's a yes okay I don't want to pronounce bad because so, it is French isn't it Damn, yeah, damn. yeah exactly because it's got an accent over there yeah thing. exactly yeah. exactly. Um, I think it's a, it's a duo they're a duo of, of yeah and they're my friends so I've known one of them from when I was like 15 okay. back home so I feel like working with them brought me back home yeah. as well and also I think I read that you, you also went back to your yeah, I moved hometown back home. Yeah, I've been okay. wanting to move back home for ages so I moved to London loads of my friends moved to London as well yeah. so there was like a group of us from like Brum, Birmingham and Warsaw and then so I was there for like seven years before lockdown 2020 I was yeah. like I want to go back but then okay. I got locked down but I just passed my driving test so then when we could like go start leaving like visiting yeah. different places then I would drive back home more and then finally move back but it's because I didn't have a house I didn't want to live with my parents so okay. I was like <laughs> waiting to sort that out yeah. Um, but yeah so one of them I knew when I was 15 from just we've, we've got similar friends we used to hang out with one of my friends you never worked with them before this album no nope, yeah, never just friends and that you literally music, YouTube, but, but yeah. I feel like everything happens for a reason like and I hadn't even heard their stuff properly until like okay. we got in the studio one day and just jammed and okay. then the other one I met Um, I met, did they come to one of my parties one time? I think so. But it's mad because they're both, we've both grown up in the same area, like similar yeah. ones from, well, actually I feel like ones from Liverpool, blah, 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 ones from London and then moved to Willenor, which isn't far from Warsaw and Brum. Okay. And then the other's from actually And French. you are from Warsaw, right? I'm from Warsaw. Yeah. 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 So place. yeah, so you just like, I think this reconnection with them because like you've, known them for not forever but since you are like, mm -hmm. very young mm -hmm. um, and I think we have a feeling in this album that you also maybe want to reconnect with uh, maybe the person you were when you were younger or at least like the environment mm -hmm. you lived in and mm -hmm. I think maybe you say uh, everything happens for a reason maybe also I don't want to like having uh, some you know, like cheesy sentence but maybe like working with them or also a way to I don't know 
find back your childhood again mm -hmm. or find back maybe something where you were more, I don't know, less noun and more free, maybe? It's I think is, is there something like it's that? Spot on. Yeah. Even little things like, um, oh, that's, I love that you hear that from the project because, yeah, it's true. Yeah. I feel like I've found myself again, like yeah. who I was before. Um, like I moved to London and also like little things like I get involved with them like get on the piano sometimes I bought a piano because I used to that's how yeah. I started I'd play keys and when then you just were play a child. Yeah, yeah when I was little like when I was eight I'd play keys and then just like make songs up from like the chords and then when I moved to London I just stopped doing that I don't know why I didn't my keyboard wasn't set up how it was back home but there was loads of things I just didn't do and then working with Dame Dam working with Dam Dam I uh, got back on the piano, so I was okay. just like playing covers. Okay. So I feel like I'm getting like myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What? Like? Oh, sorry. Yeah. And please. they have some. Obviously, I guess because they're new to putting music out, they don't have everything I'm thinking of. Like, as in, because they haven't. There's lots of pressures and that come with it. So I've got loads of stuff in my head, knowing that I'm putting music out, what people think, opinions, blah, 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 mm. all these things that I really try not to have, but they always creep in. Whereas they don't, they have what the kind of a naivety and just it's just not care. And mm. I always like to go on like I don't care, but I do. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they kind of help get okay. out of that. Yeah, we also like it's like because you're talking about a lot of stuff in this album, but also about relationships, mm -hmm. maybe love relationship maybe friends also mm -hmm. but like and we have the feeling that okay you maybe you try to not to live for others but you care a, a lot about what people can think about you and I think it's normal when you grew up in front of the whole world mm -hmm. like, it, like it was your your case but now it's more about yeah I'm moving forward and like I think you said something in the album like I love the world do what you want or mm -hmm. stuff like that mm -hmm. and we have the feeling that yeah now it's more about you what you want to do and you care less and less about what people can tell about, I don't know, your music, your, mm -hmm. no, it's something like, I like that, that. that. I think you, it's, it's maybe new in your music and in how you see things now. I think I've gotten older. I have more experiences of myself. Before, yeah, I used to write, like I said, I'd write about things I'm seeing, observing, conversations I'm having or overhearing because I'm nosy and like make things up. Like something might happen to me and then I'll exaggerate it. Like I might like a boy and he didn't like me back and then I'll make it a whole love song. Whereas now, <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. actually been through things, heartbreak, heartache. So I can write about that or I can write, yeah, I can just write about more what's, yeah, everything that I'm going through. And like a song like Go, 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 uh -huh. which is a breakup song, but it's it's a joyful breakup song. It's a know? bit, do you know, I wouldn't even say it's a breakup song. It's actually more when, because it's mad because that was Damn Damn Song. So one day when we was, we'd written a sick song and then, because I write with them as well, which okay. is it's so great being able to write with your friends because yeah. we're just chatting, laughing, and then we'll think of lyrics and whatnot. One day we couldn't, we were just stuck. Like we didn't know what to write. Well, me and one of them went and go get ahead and the other was driving back to London and they messaged and was like, yo, play Georgia Go, Go, Go. They were like, mm Mm, you sure? And I was like, yeah, go on. So they played it, and I was like, oh my god, this is this is sick. Let's okay. go, let's go. And then we'd all come back together, and we wrote we wrote some of the lyrics to like make it make sense. And we kind of wrote that more about people kissing and telling, like, why can't okay. I just like chat to someone or see someone without them? Mm, uh, <laughs> I'm <okay>. doing that. <laughs> yeah. Like chatting <laughs> to other people or letting people know what's going on. So that's kind of it's not really a breakup song. It's more of like a shut your mouth song. Okay, but it's funny because but even so, I uh, sorry, yeah, you can interpret it how you want. Yeah. That's what I love. So yeah, of course, it can be a breakup. Like I wouldn't say it's not a breakup song. I said I didn't write it intentionally yeah. for that, but okay. you can hear it however you want, which is what I love about music. Yeah, yeah, I I heard it like that, and she was like, okay, it's a breakup song for me, but it was like a joyful, like it's not a drama. Like mm, it's, it's a funny. It's exactly. a bit like haha. Exactly, which is also maybe not the stuff that you. Uh, could write maybe in, mm -hmm. in the previous mm -hmm. projects so it's yeah well you were, were talking about london and oh maybe you were tired of london like what what was the problem because for me i think i discovered you maybe in 2017 something like that wow. and then there were a lot of stuff about you uh of course more life mm -hmm. uh, black panther soundtrack mm -hmm. And we had the feeling, and at this time, I was working at Deezer, so mm -hmm. another streaming platform, and I think we did something with you, like you performed, like yeah, everybody yeah. wanted Georgia Smith. 
Maybe it was also too complicated to cope with that for you at this it, time. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. It's a bit, a bit, a bit of that. And then also, like, I feel like any negative stuff I'd have to deal with there in London. So it'll okay. get a bit, got a bit too much. And even like some of my friends who are from London, they'll be like, London's too much for them. So I think I just needed, I've always needed home. It's okay. mad because I always wanted to leave home. But as a kid, like, Loads of people I knew were like, oh, we need to get out of Warsaw, you know? But yeah, then it's yeah, actually yeah. like, mm, nah. Like Warsaw. London was a cool place. Yeah, so you but, wanted to... and for opportunities, I was like, oh yeah. my God, I want to go to studio out there to meet yeah, musicians, yeah. all that. But then it's like, Warsaw's actually why, I'm at, why I be became who I was yeah. to write and do all those things. So yeah, yeah. go back home. Okay. Nothing beats home. But yeah, I found London... London's great. Like I like going now because I don't live there. So yeah. I'm like going into into getting into the mix to go and do things, work, keep busy, not sit at home, overthink things that I don't need to think about. And is it easier for you like to work in the streets in Warsaw than in London? Maybe also maybe in London people will recognize you and it's not it's cool. Do you know what? It's different back home because I'm from home because I'm from Warsaw. I feel like yeah, people know you. Yeah, people know me. Not trying to be my mate because we've all got our friends and people are both proud. So rather than, yeah, I, I, I prefer it. And I don't mind taking pictures back home because it's like, sometimes I do, like if I'm eating, like, oh, Peggy, please don't ask me for a picture because I've got food in my mouth. <laughs> so I have to be like, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I find it just a bit more chill. Okay. Mm. Um, was it hard to play piano again? No. No? I need to, I'm bad. I can't read music. It takes me forever to read music. I okay. need to just like get back. I, my chords are basic. I need to just... You know, just pra I need to actually practice okay. to like be able to jazz things up a little bit. You said on the album, you said something like, "Will it ever um, be us going back to basics?" I'm tired of all the fake. Sh Sorry for my accent, mm -hmm. but um, also maybe London and all the celebrity was maybe the fake. Sh like, did you like have a sense of reconnect with tr true true stuff in Warsaw? Maybe the the true you, the true version of you mm -hmm. also? No, definitely. That's how I feel now. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, come back to myself. Okay. It's actually mad. You, life goes fast. You get caught up in things. Yeah. But it's interesting, that song, She Feels, that one, I was writing that about a friend and then I realized, oh my God, I'm writing it about myself. Mm. So that's, I like that you picked that up because that's not what it was about. Okay. But that's what I interpreted my own song as. Okay, so, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so when you... You uh, reconnected with uh, Dam Dam. Mm -hmm. um, so they became like the, uh, yeah, the biggest producer of the, uh, mm -hmm. on the album because we there is P2J it, we also. Yeah. Uh -huh. And P2J. And then, so Dam Dam produced most of the album with me. And then P2J has a few songs because we were in the studio with him yeah. together too. And he had those songs that I was talking about that we heard. Um, listened to before and were like oh these should be on the album and then a friend of mine New Machine and then I wrote some stuff with Maverick Sabre as well and then the last song on the album was always the last song on the album and that's produced by Jody Miller and Blue okay. okay so yeah there's a majority down down yeah yeah help put it all together oh, how did you found a song with just, them we just made music okay. we just, when we felt to make something we made it and then when we knew now nah, let's move from this idea it's not working we just keep going okay and then yeah i don't know we just everything's just really natural we just sing make yeah it's mm. actually crazy because they sent me a link and i'm really bad at listening to music like okay. <laughs> i'm really bad if i'm listening to i'll listen to like one song over and over again i find it hard to uh I, After, yeah, I'm just a bit weird with okay. when I listen to music. You're not like every Friday we listen to all the albums that are... No. no. Okay. If you send me stuff, I probably won't listen to it for months because I'm okay. listening to something else. Okay. Like, yeah. So, so you're kind of obsessed with a song yeah. and you... Okay. I get obsessed with things. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of annoying. My dad will, I'll pick my dad up to go to gym and he's like, have you been playing this song for the whole 30 minutes? I'm like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to change it? No, nope, we're going to listen to it for 10 more minutes. Okay. But um, yeah, they sent me a link and I hadn't clicked on it and then it expired. They were like... I'm glad you didn't listen to it yeah. anyway. And then I went to studio, um, to their studio in Birmingham before they moved and linked up with them there. And then I played them some of my stuff. They played me some of theirs and I was just like, I didn't have no words. I should have kicked. Like, <sighs> like, I can't wait for their music for whenever they're going to put their music out because I'm like, wow. Okay. Um, they're special. They've just got something really special, like magic, I'd say. Okay. Um, So yeah, that's, and then 
we just linked up, made music. But I think that's that's what I take from this experience, make an album to next experience is because it was so fun. Obviously, there's going to be tough, like making an album can be hard when it comes yeah. to like finishing. Yeah. But I, I feel like I want to stay for the longest period in that fun time where you're just linking up. Oh, I'll text them. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, can I come through? Rather than it being scheduled, okay, we need this song or these stems. Like, I want to get to mm. keep it in the fun, just making music, having fun for as long as possible, rather than making an album. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I learned. Because no. you can still make an album at the back of your head, knowing yeah, that yeah. this music's probably going to go towards a third album, but keep it just uh, okay, just spontaneous. That's what it is. Because that's how it really was in the beginning, just spontaneous. Okay. And we did because we felt to. Yeah. It is the reason why you... Can we say that you take time between albums? Because for some people, five years would be a lot. Maybe for you, it's normal. But I have the feeling that maybe you, you also want to take time, not you don't want to rush mm -hmm. stuff. That's how I see you. Maybe I'm wrong. but Well, yeah. so if you think about it, well, I put Lost and Found Out in 2018. Yeah. And then I would have gone on tour. Yeah. That following. I toured for like, not continuously, but I definitely was on tour until like 29 to like, To now. <laughs> no, 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 not to now. No, because I toured for like, say I put my project out and I tour and then still be doing shows in 2019. Then I had some fun. I went to Jamaica um, on holiday. I'm just trying to piece together how yeah. we got here. And then I'd be doing some, some sessions here and there. Then 2020, but obviously then we had lockdown. So yeah. that's a bit disrupted yeah, everything. Course. But I appreciate, like I got to appreciate some of the time to just take in everything that I've been doing slow down for a sec yeah, yeah. and then then I started focusing on making a second album in 2021 so right. yeah, I don't so, see yeah, it if as you being see it a like long that, time yeah, but like yeah. yeah I guess so but I can't just some I can't just think I'm gonna write I need to li live thing. I need to like live and okay experience stuff to write about of course the situation was complicated for the whole world when it was covid and stuff mm -hmm. but a lot of artists told me that even so it was a bad thing mm -hmm. actually it, it was good for them because it was also an opportunity to just somewhere else, not being in a rush mm -hmm. of tour of you have to make music because that's how it works mm -hmm. uh, how did you experience that was it also a, a moment it, for you when you took time for yourself to begin with yeah but then because I was in London that's when I started realizing I need to get out okay I, don't, I, need, I can't be here anymore like I miss home this is too much that's when I started like realizing all that stuff. okay yeah you said you are you were always obsessed with a song what is the song you're obsessed with right now is there is there one right now do you know what? I haven't listened wow I haven't listened to music because yeah I'm actually obsessed with take out that I haven't listened to music because that's a okay. lie because I was thinking oh my god I didn't listen to music it's because I didn't listen to music on the train but I'm forgetting to listen to music and I'm start again. is there a song I'm obsessed with yes um, Skepta and Jammer just dropped a, they got, they've just dropped two tunes and it's the song with Etta Bond what's it called I don't know I don't have the, the name oh now. well people that would song, check people that would song check. they've just dropped it I think you, you mentioned your father mm -hmm. earlier who also was a mu musician he used back to make the, music back yeah. in the day but before I was born yeah, yeah. but it's Mac so my dad was in like a, like a neo soul band with his friends but this would have been before I was born so he's always been playing music and so has my mom. like okay. I grew up listening to so much like so much different music because there was the radio was always on okay. in the house like it's probably on right now okay. it's always on oh, oh do you like Does he have an opinion about your music? Do you talk yeah. about that? Or? Yeah, he has an opinion. He's yeah. got a big opinion. That's probably, <laughs> Too big? <laughs> nah, because I think it's helped me be like, I'm so hard on myself. Because okay. it's not that hard on me, it's just very critical and it doesn't really lose any sleep. Just saying what he thinks. Okay. So, but So then that makes me... I remember one time, this was when I was 16, I wrote a song, I come downstairs, played it. Because that's what I used to do. I used to write songs upstairs, come downstairs, play them to my mum and dad. Okay. All right, play them to my, my dad. And he was like, yeah, I can't hear the chorus. So I said, cool, I quit music. Quit, I quit music for a day. I was only okay. 16. For a day? For a day. <laughs> for one day. So thank God that okay. I actually quit. But okay. yeah, so... Um, so I'm just yeah, like it, like he was out on, on you, like he, he was... He just was, critical. Okay. Which is, but it's, I think it's good though, because I'm... Yeah. Well, maybe it's good, maybe it's not good, because I'm really critical about myself. Okay. But I like to be, because the world has a lot of opinions. Not the world, but like people. Yeah. So mm, no one can really say anything to me that I haven't already thought. Okay. So are you, are you affected by critics, by 
I guess it can happen. Yeah, like, depends what mood I'm in. If I'm in a good mood, I won't care. But if I'm in a bad mood and I'm seeing sh- stuff that people are saying that's similar to like negative things I think of myself, that's going to bring me down. So okay. it all depends. Okay, like, I'm depends. literally, yeah, but I'm quite good at hiding it. So that's it's probably not a good thing, but oh. what else can you do? Yeah. <laughs> You're on the album. I don't know if that's connected, but you said I've always had this crown but they can only test it now. I don't know if, if this is uh, connected with what I, I'm going to say, but I, I discovered that in the yearbook of your school, uh-huh. you had the uh-huh. title of people the most um, likely to become likely famous. To become famous. That's so yeah. random! So, <laughs> so I don't know if that's connected with this crown that you mentioned, uh-huh. but like, did you, because we were, we were talking about your childhood and how you used to, to play music, to do music, like, did you always knew that it was your past. I don't know, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I know. Because it's mad because I don't like the attention. So when I was in year 11, oh no, when I was in year 7, right, I sang on my, one of my friends put me on her YouTube and because I was singing, I put it on my TikTok actually, I'm singing just at some like football um, it's goals, it's some football thing. Yeah. Football court. I don't know what the name is. Yeah. Whatever you call that. Yeah. Sports thing. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm singing. And then that went around the school. So loads of people watched that at school. And then I sang in assembly, like this talent show. And then I sang for a week. Like everyone was coming up, everyone was coming up to me in school, be like, oh Georgia, can you sing? And I'd just stand there and like sing. And then I was like, nah, no one's known I can sing now. So then okay. after that, kept everything to myself. Like I'd write oh, songs. Okay. I would not let anyone know what I'm doing because I just did not like like people knowing I could sing and then okay. I even went to like some musical theatre school for a bit like on a Saturday for like a year for like I think I went for a year or two years I can't remember from when I was like 11 that age and I didn't want people to know I could sing so it's like it's a weird thing because I love singing I love being yeah. on stage but I don't like the attention and <laughs> so oh you cope with it now d- I don't. <laughs> I do and I don't, but it's just funny because I've actually never liked it, but I'm just quite good at just getting on with it. And okay. but but there's a difference in the attention on stage to everything yeah. else. Yeah, I get it. You yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Did you now try to love being on stage? No, I love it. Yeah, yeah, but like is it maybe it wasn't comfortable at the beginning? I don't know. Mm-mm. No, okay. I've always I I've always like I've gotten more confident but I've always like I just love singing. So as long as I'm okay. singing, if there's a it mic can, in my hand yeah. and I'm singing, we're okay. Back in the day I used to like if I was asked to sing, I'd be like, Okay, one sec. <coughs> I'd do that for about five minutes. Like, okay, okay. <laughs> one sec, I just need to clear my throat. There's nothing in my throat. <laughs> and then uh but now I don't do that. So okay. I, I love it. But it's everything off stage. Everything off stage and not in the studio. It's a bit difficult. Okay. Um, but it's, yeah. yeah. No, please, please. I was going to say, but it's actually crazy because like some people are really good at dealing with everything else, but not on stage, not being on stage. Yeah, exactly. So it's the opposite yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, who were the artists you were listening to when you were? When I was growing up. Mm, yeah. There was so much, so much going on. Damien Marley. Yeah, and I learned. I wanted to talk about Damien Marley because I think I um I read that you love Damien Marley and Nas, and yeah. I was talking about. And then about they did the project the, together, yeah, of course. And I love this mm-hmm. album. I have a big mix of everything like, that I like to listen to. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's crazy because when I used to go down to London, obviously I didn't have money to buy albums, so I would, you know, on YouTube they sometimes have the whole album. Well, album, on yeah, one. on one. Yeah, yeah, so I'd YouTube convert it. So <laughs> I didn't know any of the song titles. I just knew okay, like just listen, yeah. the songs and I just convert um, Welcome to Jamrock, that album. Yeah, okay. And then Illmatic. That was okay. the two albums. And then Most Def, Black on Both Sides. They were oh, the two yeah. albums that I had in full that I just listened to on my journey. And you see, I get obsessed. So I was only listening to those. Okay. Um, you, you have a great song on the album with Jairus. Yes. Uh, great artist. Oh, I... I I'm guessing you've known him since a long time. So I met him years ago. Jay has his funny. I think he's so sick. He's so talented. Yeah. He came to the studio. I hit him up. I was like, yo, are you about? Can you come? He said, yeah, I'm there in an hour. So me me and Dam Dam and Peter Joe were like, hey, how's this coming? Okay, cool. What are we going to play him? But we had the idea of playing him little things. Okay. So he comes to the studio. He's in a good mood. Love it. Huss, yes. How you doing? Intro to him today. Because he knows P, but didn't know Dam Dam. Anyway. Her sitting down, we play little things. He's vibing to it, but he's not that into it. And then 
one of them plays Feelings. And I was like, looked at them like, why are you playing this? She's like, no, no, just play it. And then he's sitting there like, yo, now let me get in the booth. And he gets in the booth and then does his verse okay. there and then. And then we had a hook before um, that we'd written, but then he started singing that. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, because oh my God, you rapped that, that and sung yeah. and sing them. And we were like, that is a hook, that is a hook. And then that was it. Okay. The rest is history. Yeah. I, I, you, you don't do that much collaboration on your album. I like, I'm like, you mm -hmm. seem to be maybe protective with your music. You don't want to collaborate with, with that much people. I have this feeling. Mm -hmm. No, it's not that I don't. I do and I don't. Mm, but I also, maybe it's because I just think of what I'm like if I'm collaborating. Because I'm not very good at, uh, you see, if you got a song, if someone wants me to be on a song, it could take me forever to write it. And I know people have got deadlines. I, I okay. get a bit stressed because it's okay. like, I can't write. If this song's about something that's not happening or I've been through, I'm going to struggle and it's going to take me a minute to write. So that's why I'm a bit like, I don't want to ask people because I yeah. get stressed. So I don't want to stress anywhere else. But <laughs> okay. people aren't like me and people come through and are sick and I appreciate the way they do because I need to get more like that but um, nah it's not even a protective thing it's just like some of the songs were finished okay and I didn't they, they were, yeah they okay, were, okay. Was there. you said when you do an album it's you, you love the moment when you're just vibing in the studio mm -hmm. working with your friends and then it's it has to be finished mm -hmm. um, when did you know this album was finished and it was it was your new album yeah, what was it probably too moment? soon before it was Probably sooner than I should have. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because I think we could have done with more time. Just, but that's what I'm saying. I learned so much from this process. But prob, it's because I had we had all the songs that we knew were on it, and when we knew that, that's when it's like, okay, cool, my albums can be finished. But really, it still did those songs. We needed to live in the songs some more to mm. actually figure out, like. Damn, damn, would hear different sounds. It'd be like, oh no, no, we've just had this to go in here. So just needed time to let the songs live and finish themselves I guess rather than they need to be finished yeah, yeah. on this day My DJ, yeah. Um, but yeah but it's mad because that the in my house I had a like a little summer house and on the wall because I turned it into a studio for a bit we wrote the a track list and it's this list even from when we started in 2021 we had this list and it stayed the same like in terms of this list might have only had four songs on but those four songs were still in the same place when we got to okay. this list and then when we got to the end okay okay yeah so you still you had a vision yeah you say you were just making music but you still wanted to we had a to, vision but yeah. not like a like a there's no concept if that makes sense yeah, but yeah, I yeah, think I the it. concept became apparent when not even the concept but like it made sense when we were writing the songs when the mm. songs are getting made like oh this is about this yeah exactly mm. it's like a exactly. diary exactly it's exactly. like a day each song is its own day I think yeah and you go through it And it's sick because it's falling offline, but the album's flying and then falling. It yeah. starts off ah, and then mm, yeah, down. Yeah. Also, I wanted to talk about this title. Like, what, um, what, um, what is behind this title? Falling offline. Something I said to my friend ages ago. I think we was in. Was it when we, me and one of my really good friends were away? I said about like that's how I feel. Falling offline. I don't know if okay. I'm doing good or bad and okay. happy or sad. Like, and if you know me. I don't really have it in between. I'm very this or this. Okay. I get obsessed or completely can't focus. So <laughs> okay. that's like for and offline is how I felt okay. from like since I started to think about making another album. And that's how I felt since putting Lost and Found out. Yeah, I can't tell what's going on. Okay. Yeah, but it's not blurry. I just, it's this or this. Okay. Um, so yeah. Is there like, no, it's a, it's a new album. Do you feel like a pressure before an album like that? Or I have the feeling that not. The way you're talking about your making music, you don't seem to have like pressure or being stressed by releasing an album, but maybe you are like, uh, mm -mm. how is it? Nah, do you know, I don't feel any pressures because like no one's putting any pressure on me, but I put my own pressure on myself, like even doing an interview. Ah, oh, scary. <laughs> like that's you're doing great. Stuff. You're doing great. But like <laughs> they're the pressures, I guess, that I give myself because yeah. no one's forcing me to do anything. Yeah. Like, you know, but they're the pressures that come with it. The album, great. Performing, okay. not yeah, You're confident with your music. Yeah, okay, well, yeah. music, it's everything else. It's literally anything to do with not my music. Yeah, Even okay. though this is to do with my music, but I'm yeah, talking. Yeah, but, okay. So it's yeah. like, yeah, it, all of that, I get a bit, they're the pressures. Okay. Those things, just anything where I am not singing. So you, you just have to live in a studio, actually. Yeah. That would be your dream. Well, I'm going to build one. Okay. In my house, so I can live in there. In Warsaw? Yeah. Okay. So I can live there. 
Okay. And that's where you'll find me. And if you want to talk to me, I'll sing. <laughs> <laughs> Is it now that you're back to Warsaw, like, do you see yourself living in another city, maybe in the future? Or do, no. do you, do, do you, will be you, you, are you going to be sticked in that's Warsaw? That's my base. And then I want to go away. Like I'd, okay. I could go to New York for a bit or London yeah. for a few months or um, not even because I can just drive home or LA for <laughs> a few months. But London's like my... Ugh. Warsaw, ah! <laughs> Warsaw's my base. <laughs> And yeah, I just want to, because I want to build my house, build a studio. That's, I just want to like live there for a bit. Yeah, yeah. And obviously after I'd have put an album, gone on tour, I have some like downtime to like, okay, figure out what, what do I want to do? Do I want to get back in the studio or yeah. But mm. like in Warsaw, I feel like it's funny. Like sometimes I wish, you know, like Hannah Montana has like a disguise. Like that's sometimes, like, that's how I kind of feel a bit in Warsaw though. I feel like I'm not anything, any, okay. like I don't. I feel like I don't make music okay. at home. Okay, okay. I know I do, but like I just feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like I put it on a shelf. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a last question. I love to ask that to people. Um, f maybe it's, f it's f more for the audience, but could you give me one album that you really love to, which will, would be a classic album for you? A classic album for Yeah, me? for you. Maybe it don't, doesn't have to be like, The biggest album, just for you. The, the album when you're you're just coming back again and again because it's it makes you feel good. Cool. Do you know what? An album that I've come back to, which I ha I hadn't listened to for about, this is funny, I hadn't listened to this album for about nine years because I didn't think it was online. I don't know if, I don't even know the title of it. Okay. But his <laughs> album. I think it's unfit. The, the album, album of who? Jai Paul. Ah, Jay Paul, yeah, Jay of course. Paul. Oh yeah, my yeah. gosh, see, I no, say it wrong. I'm, it, no, yeah. I think it is Jay Paul. I don't know, but yeah, it, it was crazy. So, I think Jay just, Paul's album. He just released like yes. two tracks and stuff like that, and just he disappeared. Yeah, but yeah. no, there's a whole album. This whole album? Okay. So okay. you haven't heard it either? No. Oh my gosh. So that album, but okay. I was obsessed with that when I was like 13, 14, okay. 15, or was it 15? One of those ages. And then I'd listen to that all the time, and it was on an iPad, iPod, and then I didn't have the iPod anymore. So okay. I didn't think the last... album. Yeah, yeah I thought, oh my god, the album's lost. No one's gonna okay. hear this. Um, but it's out. And then okay. it, so I was listening to it the other day okay. in my car, and I was, yeah, that's a classic for me. Okay. Jay Paul. Great. And the album title, I do not know. Maybe they don't even have one. I think it's I something. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. J. Oh, Paul. the lo it's either the leaked t leaked ones or lost tapes. Okay. Do you yes, know what maybe it, it was you not. Like even, you know what it's called. Maybe no. it was not even released. <laughs> maybe it was not a proper release. Maybe it was just something which was mm -hmm. leaked, leaked stuff. I or... just know I got it from someone who got it from someone who got it from yeah, someone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that was it. Oh, it was with Yeah, that's a classic for me. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Merci d'avoir regardé la vidéo. Si tu veux en savoir plus sur la rap musique, n'hésite pas à t'abonner à Apple Music. Tous les vendredis, un nouvel épisode du Code Radio. La playlist régulièrement mise à jour également. Et nous, on se retrouve très très bientôt avec un ou une nouvelle invitée.